Have you got one of these? It's a UMC. They used to come with the car, but now you've got to purchase them. They come with a 10 and 15 amp tail, but you only get eight and 12 sometimes. Here's how to fix it. When you get the pack open, you've got two of these in there. This end goes into the UMC, and these are the tails that go into the plug. One's supposedly a 10 amp, and the other's a 15 amp. The 15 amp one has got a larger earth compared to the 10 amp one. As you can see, it's a bit bigger. And the actual amperage is written right here by the earth plug. I'll show you a close up of that. Here's the close up of the two types of plugs. We've got the 10 which is the new one it's labeled 10 amps and on the old one that's a 15 amp plug as you can see the slightly larger earth and that is labeled 12 amps you cannot alter that back up to 15 so you've got to make sure it's labeled 10 and or 15 and then we can adjust them all right, so here I am in the back of my Model Y and I've got my UMC out which has got the Type 2 uh, adapter on it and somewhere here I've got my 10 amp, maybe, we're going to find out in a minute, uh, tail. So the first thing to do is plug that in it can only go one way right so there we have it now you'll notice actually that this comes out on an angle the earth in the normal plug in Australia is at the bottom so when it goes in like this it comes out on an angle don't know why just their design I suppose right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug this in and see what level it currently charges the car at as I said this is rated at 10 amp the one in my model 3 which is probably close to three years old now is only rated at 8 amps and there's no way that you can up that to 10 amps and even if you manage to trick it you're actually outside of its electrically rated operating uh, area so it's not allowed really so this one 10 amps some of them come with a maximum of 8 amps but you can upgrade them to 10 amps as I'll show you how in a minute so we're going to plug this in and see what charge we get in the car so here you have it it says 8 amps and the plus is greyed out so this is limited to 8 amps so now we're going to make it accept 10 amps so let's stop charging and I'll show you how all right so I have unplugged the charger from the wall the first thing you have to do is you've got to set your charge limit lower than the actual charge so mine at the moment is sitting at 64 percent and I've now set it down to 50 percent so now we'll plug it in and it's not going to charge because the charge limit is lower don't just set it to 50% if you've got less than 50% in the battery it's not going to update itself you must have it set lower so charge it to above pull this down and then we'll see I'm going to reset this so that it's not charging at 11 o'clock at night so what will happen I'll plug it in it's not going to charge but within a couple of minutes it should update and we'll see this now reach 10% all right so plug this back in 
this is set to not charge now because the uh, charge level is set to lower than the actual state of charge of the battery. So it's powered on, green lights are on, there's a green light appeared here so I'll just check what's happening. It should only take a couple of minutes so we're going to leave it a few minutes and come back and see whether it will charge at 10 amps. That was interesting. Um, I had the slider down to 50% as I showed you and stopped it charging. You have to disconnect the plug and wait a little while and then plug it back in and nothing happened. It sat at 0 to 8 amps. Well actually it was using 1 amp or 2 amps of 8 amps so it was actually the car because I got the doors open and the boot up the car was using power so it was not reprogramming the UMC at least that's what I now believe so what I did I locked the car I put the boot down closed all the doors shut it down locked it nothing was being drained and then all of a sudden after literally 30 seconds maybe a minute the UMC the lights all came on they went off and the T was flashing on and off the car started to make some clunking sounds and then when I checked in the app it was still 8 amps after about another 30 seconds I checked on the app 10 amps naught of 10 amps so now I've reprogrammed the UMC on that to allow 10 amp charging so I'll just show you that in the car so it's still not charging but I just thought I'd show you I have got 10 amps as the maximum charge rate now and then because I've opened the car up, it's actually using, well, it's got six out of 10 amps because the air conditioning's just come on. So what I'm going to do now is whack this back up to 100%, tell it to start charging. And now, 10 out of 10 amps so I've reprogrammed that UMC tail to allow the full 10 amps at 240 volts so that's 2.4 kilowatts so it's actually going to take a fair old while if we look up in the top here 10 hours 35 minutes at 2 0.4 kilowatts it's not using quite that because it's using some of those amps to run the air conditioning all right it's probably using about half to run the air con but there you have it recharging your umc tail now you can do the same for the 15 amp so there it is flashing away and the umc is having the TESLA of Tesla illuminated in succession to indicate that it's sending current to the car. So in summary, check your tail to see if it's giving you its rated amperage of 10 or 15 amps. If not, it's reprogrammable. You cannot reprogram those that are labeled eight and 12. That's the older models. Sorry, you're limited. But if you've got a 10 and 15 rated uh, tail, you can reprogram it if it's only giving you eight or 12. And the way to do it is first, check that you're getting eight or 10 amps by looking at the screen in the car when it's charging. Second, stop the charging, unplug it. Set your uh, charge level down to below 
your state of charge of the battery. So if your battery's on 40%, you can't lower it to 50, you've got to charge it to over 50. But if you're at 60 or 70%, you can drop it down to 50, 55, 60%. So long as you know it's not going to charge when you plug it in. Plug the cables back into the wall socket, into the car, switch it on. Make sure your car is locked. If it's not locked, it doesn't look like it will happen. Within 30 seconds of me locking the car, I started to hear clunks. The T on the um, UMC started to flash. Clunks coming from the car. After another 30 seconds, it was all over. And then when I plugged it all, turned it on, unlocked the car, looked in there, naught out of 10 amps. So I've now reprogrammed the tail. You do the same for the 15 amp tail. So thanks very much. Hope you thought that was useful. Uh, please click that like and subscribe button down here as usual. And don't forget, see you all soon.